Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit about blend modes inside of GIMP 2.10. So blend modes are where you take a layer and you go up here and you set one of these different effects, which for the most part interact with the color of that layer, but can also affect things like brightness and luminosity. And to the eye at least, uh, if you choose some of the further down ones, you can actually have it get an interesting interaction with the background layer where certain elements of the background will show through more than the less noticeable uh, elements in the background. Uh, because how the layer modes work is that they interact with the layer behind it. So it's not just putting a color effect on one layer like you might see in a filter, but rather it absolutely depends on the layer behind the blend mode in order to determine how it's going to look in the final effect. So when we go to the drop down for blend modes, which is in the top right hand corner, we get a lot of different effects. I believe they had like 21 before, but now in the latest version, it's quite a few more than that. And uh, you can just kind of go down through these, honestly. The best way to get an idea of exactly what each one does is to see it. But generally what happens is it'll take the colors of everything in the layer you're adjusting for and measure it against the background and create an effect for those areas. So for instance, a reasonably simple mode we can take a look at is lighten only, uh, right down here, sixth in the list currently. And when we take a look at the effect, it almost gives the appearance of the character being ethereal in nature. You can kind of see behind him, similar to if we had set opacity, but it gives you a different look because instead of really applying like opacity all across the board, it's taking some of these lighter, less noticeable areas and those become more see-through. Uh, whereas these areas that have really solid colors uh, like this white on the arm and the checker squares for this leather armor uh, are still pretty visible. So if we compare that to just doing 50% opacity by reverting it to mode normal and putting the opacity to 50, you can see it does look a little bit different than the light and only mode. But if you're looking for something a little more dramatic, we could try subtract here. So how this subtract mode would work is it'll take the color values in all of the pixel areas uh, for the layer behind it and it'll subtract those color values from the top layer so for the most part what you get left with are just some very dark shaded areas so this face which would have normally been white loses a lot of its color and you know that when you shift uh, white away from actually having color it goes towards black uh, black being where it would not have any color. You can see that it's obviously not a pure black here. The exact results are going to depend on whatever is actually behind it. So if you swap in a different background image, it's going to look a bit different. So another one that I'm a pretty big fan of is Divide over here, because Divide gives you a really cool ghostly look. So just guessing of how this works mathematically, dividing the first color by the second color, and if you're talking about color on a scale from 0 to 1, uh, you multiply those values together, it's actually going to increase its value or shift it more towards white. So that's why you see so much white um, inside of here. I could be wrong on that, but the important thing for you is the look that you actually get when you apply these kind of effects. If you want to see the math itself, uh, I would go check out the GIMP website because they actually have some of that listed there. Uh, let's just quickly go through some of the effects. So luminance over here, um, taking the colors of the background image and applying it to the visibility or the uh, brightness of the top image. So you see exactly the same shape, but with the colors of the background image. Uh, let's just kind of scroll up here using the middle mouse wheel. And you can see there's a lot of really interesting looks you can get here uh, just by really going and playing around with it. So there's grain extract, kind of similar to divide, exclusion, difference, so on and so forth. And then up here at the top, uh, one that you can actually use for more practical purposes, erase. Uh, rather than having to create a layer mask, you can just have a layer serve as a mask. So basically, uh, wherever this layer uh, has color matching with the bottom layer, it's just going to erase that from the final image. So basically, you just take this image and it becomes a completely transparent paste over on top of the second image. So if you needed to do anything like that, that is a useful tool. 
Just remember that when you want to try these blend modes out, you absolutely need two layers. You need the layer behind it, which is going to have color values um, that the first layer, the mode layer, actually interacts with. So whatever layer you want to add a blend mode or a layer mode to, just put that on top and go on this drop down list and you should be able to get some cool effects going on there. Hopefully I gave you a decent idea here of what blend modes are, how they work, how to use them, so on and so forth. Inside of GIMP 2.10, I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my future video content.